year at the Brass Agency, which is one of the largest marketing and advertising companies in the north of England, and we're here to find out about how you can get into the industry. Um, and what are you actually looking for when you recruit, when you recruit people? What are you looking for? Um, well, it, it depends kind of on the role, but on the whole, people who are really keen to, to um, well, two things really, keen to learn, so whether you're doing GCSEs, A-levels or whatever, if, you, if you're one of those kind of people that constantly wants to find out how does that work, what do you do with that, can I read up more about it, that's a really good attribute. Um, and the other one is, um, which is a slight cliche, but it's a good way of putting it, is like being a people person. And right. If you get on with any kind of people, because the clients that we deal with, they um, they sell products to the whole of the UK, or they yeah. sell products internationally. So being able to, as an individual, work with creative people, understand what the public wants, or, or se sections of the public. Yeah. How would anybody find out about a job in this industry? Um, is it just word of mouth? Is it really who you know? No, it's not always who you know, you know. Everyone has to sort of start somewhere. Yeah. If you have got connections though, so if you've got a friend of a friend or a neighbour, somebody at school's big brother or big sister got a job in a design company or an yeah. advertising agency, I would say make the most of that. And it, networking is really important yeah. whenever you start off. It's really important to make connections. So obviously Facebook for your, for your friends, yeah. but things like LinkedIn, which is for more professional Businesses. Yeah, business yeah. stuff. Um, as soon as you meet people, you might go to a job fair or, or something, get their business card, hold yeah. on to it. You might not get a job with that particular person or that company straight away, but there's absolutely no harm in networking. Well. Yeah, yeah, and it, that is so word of mouth is and who you know kind yeah. of helps. Yeah. It's always worth going onto the websites yeah. first off for every single agency. See if there's a job. Put your CV together. Or if there isn't a job straight away, but you like you, you like the look of that agency, you think you'd like to work there. Yeah. There's no harm in sending them a personalised note to say I've checked you out as an actual company. Yeah. I think I've got the right skills and, and interests for and then just keep in touch and ask if they've got work placement because a lot of them will do work experience and officially as well outside of the normal formal. And yeah, what is the actual application process to go through? Um, we often the first thing we'll hear from somebody is on the website because we put an ad on there. Sometimes we'll go to a recruitment agency and, and it might be really that people want to take if they want to go and get a job. Yeah. They'll go and find a good recruitment agency. There's quite a few around in Leeds, particularly well, in every city, yeah. but in Leeds. Like jobs today. Yeah, and just and sort of tell them what you're interested in doing. Yeah. But very often, if they come to us direct on the website, that's sort of short circuits it so they can see if we've got a vacancy. So come onto the website, yeah. attach your CV to it. If yeah. you've got work experience, that really counts for a lot. If you can point to something yeah. that you've already done that either experience somewhere else or that you just offer your own back. If you want to be a designer, you know, tell us about some designs you've done. Yeah. I'm not expecting everyone to be a graduate. If you're just still doing GCSEs and A-level, that's fine if you're kind of just interested in planning ahead for a couple of years. Do you think a portfolio is quite a good idea or...? Um, it is for, definitely for the creative people. Right. So whether you're a graphic designer, doing all the page layouts and the, the logos and yeah. the designs, whether you're uh, a creative, so you might be somebody who does wants to do video production. Mm -hmm. So if you've made some short films yourself, films on YouTube, which are ideas you have for TV ads or a music video or something, yeah. being able to point to your portfolio definitely for those roles. Right. And could you explain exactly what is a portfolio? Yeah. yeah. It, um, it could be anything really now. It used to be, um, back when I kind of started, it was definitely it was a physical book. So yeah. it was a book or a binder that had examples of all your work in it. Often kind of either A3 or A2 size, really yeah. big size. And a lot of people are sending us links, which is great, to websites. Yeah. So set themselves up a really quick website in something like WordPress as a blogging platform. Yeah. Uh, they put the work in there. And the added value, and I say this to anybody, is not just put your work on there, but also then a couple of paragraphs about what it was you were thinking at the time. Yeah. What is it you actually do in your job? Okay, so I'm an account executive. Um, basically, that means I'm part of a team that acts like the middleman between our clients and then what we do inside the agency. So a client will come to us like a brand and ask us for some sort of marketing and give us some objectives and some aims. Mm -hmm. And then um, I will take that brief uh, and the same the team that I work with will take the brief and go back into the agency and sort of talk to all the specialist teams and the experts and uh, find a way to answer those, that brief basically. So I can be managing my own project like a website and um, looking after 
the client contact completely on my own and yeah. making sure that that project's done to time on budget and that the designers and creatives and the people working on it are sort of getting what they need to do as well done. And then I can also work on a massive account and do anything from help by uploading content into a website or talking to an artwork about some yeah. press advertising that needs to go and making sure our production manager has everything she needs to give to like me just about it just varies. And so how did you actually get into the job? Um, it's kind of, uh, it's a long winded story because I didn't go um, a totally conventional way but my background is that I did um, graphic design at art college um, to HMD level um, but after I left college I started off as a designer um, so I was always involved in marketing and design in the creative world uh, and then I actually went travelling for a while so when I came back from travelling um, instead of um, using a recruitment agency to find me a new job I actually joined a recruitment agency yeah. but that specialised in marketing I uh, worked in recruitment for about three years and this company, Brown as it was called back then, and Swan. Um, yeah. They were two separate companies, one was a digital and one was advertising. Yeah. Um, they were actually one of my clients. Yeah. And I, um, every time I came to visit, I just got really, really jealous that I wasn't involved in the creative yeah. or involved in marketing anymore. So I actually thought, why not write and ask and see if they'll actually interview me. Yeah. And and what qualifications would you say you need um, as you spoke about this? To get into this particular yeah. job? Um, I think. A, a more than rather than qualifications solely you need a lot of people skills because obviously I'm dealing with people constantly yeah. whether it's people in the agency or whether it's clients in terms of actual qualifications um, obviously marketing is quite important and would be very, very beneficial so you don't just have to have like English math science no it's, it's definitely not as strict as that yeah. um, if you can demonstrate that you're going to be able to sort of um, offer a client, you know, be service yeah. or be able to talk to people and also have those, that sort of creative ideas. Then. So you'd say it's more quality that rather than the great Exactly. Thing. For example, when I needed to prove myself that I could work here, yeah. um, they asked me to do a presentation. So right, okay. rather than listing what I've got on paper, it's like I got the chance to um, they gave me a brief and yeah. I had to answer that brief and then present it. Is it something you'd be interested in doing in the future then or would you like, if you've got different ambitions? No, no, definitely this is where I see myself in the future. At the moment I'm only at exec level, which is like the first level. Yeah. So I want to carry on, um, hopefully brass, yeah. improving my experience yeah. um, and, and eventually the, the steps up. I'd go, um, I'd go to account manager and to account director, yeah. um, which means that I'd be eventually only the key accounts in the, in the agency and I'd be responsible for my account executive and they'd be supporting me. Yeah, well it's good to know you're on the way to achieving what you want. Um, <laughs> and what advice would you give to anyone who wanted to get into this industry? Um, definitely talk to people and I always, always say um, if you don't ask, you don't get. Yeah. So if, you, if you're really, really interested and passionate about something, work experience is a fantastic way yeah. to get that experience. Also meet people because um, it's a lot about who you know sometimes, yeah. not what you know. And um, if you went down qualifications through marketing, design, anything like that, definitely help you get into the sort of media yeah. industry. Oh, right, good. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.